Fashionably late as always. So we are going to um, do this day in the life thing or something. Um, so mornings, I'm going to give Sophie a call. We go through our daily issues if there's been any shit overnight that we need to deal with. Um, so yeah, you can listen in on this lovely call. Um, see what happens. Hi, Sophie. Okay. How's overnight been? Any messages on the phone? No. I know. I've had it twice in about four weeks. It's shit, isn't it? Um, See what I have to put up with, mate. Hey, constant. This is. I'm only. Jo I'm only joking. So. <laughs> I'm, I'll come see you in a bit. I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> yeah. Right, see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, mate. Turn up, mate. So one of the things that we do on the morning is um, we have like a morning meeting. Um, it's very rare that I'm in the shop anymore. Um, simply because of developing the other sides of the business and operationally it doesn't really make sense for me to pack stuff. Um, so we catch up on anything that's been going on overnight and in the morning. One of the key things in our business is cash flow, it's a nightmare. So I'm gonna crack the laptop open in a minute. And every day what we do, we keep track of all of the sales, all of the money coming in and out of the business. Um, it's the only way to keep on top of stuff because sales are like that. And especially a quiet time in December, we'll probably trade around 30% back from our peak in the summer, um, which is really difficult to manage. Um, and you have to manage, because the cost, cost, costs don't change. Sales go budish, profit goes right down, but your costs don't move. So every day we'll look at the cash flow, we'll see what money we can spend on stock, where our availability issues are, uh, whether it's boxes or strong stuff, whatever. But I'm gonna do that now, and then hopefully, we can spend some money on stock. My device ran into a problem. Um, like, a, like a lot of things these days running into problems. So we're gonna do some work this morning relating to cash flow. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's one of the biggest bugbears that we have. because we just don't know what our sales are gonna be. So um, that's one of our first things we do every morning as well as have a meeting with Sophie and then we're going to go to the shop we're going to catch Sophie off guard because I haven't told her we're doing this today she feels like shit she's got no makeup on I know she hasn't I can tell um, so we're going to go take a fucking piss so after our trip to Dubai which was recently it's created a load of work and what I've just done uh, Chris there's some stuff here for you. There's free SD cards there. So we created our first podcast last week in Dubai. Um, and what I've done is taken all the data from it, given it to Chris to do a load of editing. Um, so we've got that to sort today as well. Other stuff, my daughter's coming over from uh, Shrewsbury. She, it's gonna be her first day today working for us. She's gonna take on a marketing role. So I've got a trainer up for that. Um, and also, to prepare for the start of next year, I've started booking in calls with all of our athletes just to make sure we're on the same page. So I've just had a message from Josh McHale. We've got something arranged for tomorrow now, but um, we're also planning on our events. So next year will be training seminars, opposing seminars. Our first one is gonna be on the 14th of January up in Aberdeen, that's a training one, uh, with a load of a team. And then 18th of February will be our opposing seminar. So that is going to be really good. I've got to go down to Birmingham, I think, uh, 5th of Jan. I'm going to go and have a look at the venue. It's at a theatre. Um, so I've got to chat with Sean Barber at some point today to rearrange the time. It's booked in for 7 p.m., something like that. But yeah, there'll be loads of other stuff crop up as the day goes on. But here's my kind of Bible. 
I'm the most disorganised motherfucker you'll meet. But some things I do write down. Um, and what I was doing yesterday was planning out Shannon's job role and how that sort of unplugs or plugs into a current setup and how that releases my time. Because as well as setting up events, as well as running the supplementation, we have this membership site that is the priority at the moment to build. And that in itself is an absolute fucking monster from a tech point of view, from a people point of view. Um, and it all needs managing really, really closely. Um, I'll try and get our web lads on today as well and have a brief call with them because they are responsible for the tech with the member site. Um, and they've been doing some work for us this week. So I've got to catch up with them uh, and just see where we're up to with certain progressions, the certain features that we want added into the member site. Um, so yeah, loads on, stay, stay in tune. Now we're going to go down to the shop, see Sophie. We'll show you a little bit behind the scenes and uh, yeah, just see what Sophie does on a daily basis. Um, let's hope she's feeling okay. Oh, my boot's fucked. I have to fucking whack it like this. Oh, I'm still fucking shagged. No money in supplements. I can't afford a car with a boot that closes. There you go. <laughs> um, one of the things I really love about being at Evolve, well, the best thing about it is that place there. That little silver truck uh, is parked outside the sushi restaurant that's inside. Best thing about it. Love it. This is payback. This is payback. Come on, let's go and see Soph. We're going to see Soph. I'm not seeing Soph. <laughs> How are we doing, Are you Soph? You're not, you're not good. No. <laughs> so, some of you will know Sophie as the real gaffer, but yesterday she got a demotion. She's now the plastic gaffer. <laughs> I won't go into that, but it's a long story. Um, yeah, I thought I'd get my own back on Soph. I know she hasn't done her makeup, I know she feels like shit. So please point the camera as much as you can at Sophie. We want to see what she does in the, for the whole day. That's it, you're together now. <laughs> Everyone buys on the website, goes through Shopify, it's all linked to our Zen stores. The orders come through. See what the order is. I go pick it, print the label off, put it on my lovely little table here, ready to get packed. That's it for a moment. <laughs> shop whatever um, most of our business is online so in terms of the actual shop itself it's very small um, it's all for mail order really so here's our wonderful shop and you've already seen the wonderful Sophie in a magical cupboard 
Um, so yeah, obviously we're in Evolve and Ian, I want to grab you. Don't go anywhere. I won't go anywhere. Let's grab him while he's here. So Ian uh, was our very first member on our member site and he was part of the forum. Is that the right word? Forum? Yeah, 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 you so are, yeah. So, so we had a forum before we launched the member site and Ian was a key part of that. So Ian's a very passionate bodybuilder. Um, I just don't look it. And he, <laughs> he knows a lot about bodybuilding. Um, so yeah, uh, here's Ian. Like I said, he's our very first member and supported us from the minute that we landed here, which was last November. Uh, Ian has shown us a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of support. It's really helped us and advised us in lots of ways. So I'll tear it up, you, mate. No, no, That's good. We're going to make this into a reel and we're going to cool, post man. it and collaborate yeah, yeah. with you. Cool, man. Um, nice training, mate. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Good session. Oh, my legs tried it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, same. So, um, you are, as I said, you're our very first member um, on the member site. What do you like most about it? Plug it. It's, <laughs> it's purely, it's information. It, it's so much stuff in one area. And that's the thing, when you're first starting out, you don't realise how much there is to learn. And as you get older, you, you learn it, but you waste so much time. And it's about getting that jump start, getting it all in one area, and taking it in as you can. Sometimes you're not ready to take the information in. Maybe a year later, five years later, you think, Yes. I get it. Yeah, that's it. Just drop and that's the trouble. Yeah. That's the trouble. And, and uh, your weight lifting changes as you get older. Yeah, and that's the thing yeah. you progress, and you've got to progress with it, or you don't. I'm with you. The age gets us, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, man, legs. Oh, mate, honestly, really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for the no vlog as well. No. Yeah. Wicked. operational issues that we have is that we have lots of different storage spots so the shop really counts as a storage room we've got the storage room which is a storage room then we've got the sample room which is also a storage room and then upstairs we've got another storage room and an office so I'm gonna show you got more stuff in here as well um, that's all locked obviously that's another storage and that room there is the old blood lab. It is now belongs to CB Therapy. So one of the good things about having CB Therapy in here is I can just go and get me back fixed whenever I want. And then this little room we use for an office um, now and again. When I'm in and I need some peace and quiet without any fucking techno playing, I'll come in here and I will. Yeah, there we go. So it's a dual, dual room for all of the gym, but it is a very good spot to have an office. Um, it's just a good spot to have the business, to be fair. It's a really good building. And Dan, the owner, has been really good with us. Uh, he's just really flexible and lets us use pretty much what we want. I am mate. I love the pictures that you sent me of the Winter Soldier. However, rather than try and sell me stuff, can you try and deliver me the stuff that we've already paid for? That would be lovely. They're only two days late. Um, please put a fucking rocket up their ass. We are waiting for the stock. Thank you, love you. Twat. <laughs> that was a tame one compared to what they get off me normally. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that, that was literally, that was me being fucking nice, that was. I was being nice. Cunt. <laughs> Kane goes home and cries over night. <laughs> literally. Like, Sorry, Kane. If we're bored in a day, we find something to pick on Kane about because he's such an easy target. He fucks up so much stuff. One of the things that he emails, I'm fucking terrible for it. So I get them through to my phone, so I'm constantly getting, when I get an update, of an email, we get I get notified when an order comes through. So I'm like, oh yeah, great, we've had an order. And I'm like, see how much it is. And then when other emails come through, I'll fucking open them as well, which causes Sophie a problem because they're usually for her to deal with. And when I've opened them, she assumes that I've dealt with them. Anyway, we've sorted that out. I've just stopped. Oh, I've got a phone call. Um, yeah, so I've stopped fucking about and that's Sophie. Right, I'm just gonna take this call. Is there any problem emails Robbie sends them over to? Like my person, my 
email, personal one into the business, and then they all get dealt with through that and actioned. And, and then we've also got a little board here of also daily jobs that need, you know, as and when. Um, so it's a case of multitasking at its finest. Sometimes I can be doing two, three, four jobs at a time, or I have to break away and do other jobs. All while keeping an eye on stock, making sure we've got enough stock for people. Stock's always there. It's arriving on time. Ordering with several different companies. So there's a lot to do. It's good job multitasking. Good at multitasking. So I just had to get my shit out the front seat. Um, Oh look, there's a bit, I'm, I'm a fan of Holland's pies by the way, don't tell Joe. And obviously, Cialis, I mean, I never go anywhere without Cialis. So we are now off to Piccadilly um, to pick my daughter up, Shannon. So um, she's just actually finished traveling. Um, she was working in America for six months and then she come back and then she fucked off to Costa Rica on a holiday, like four or five weeks. Nice. Um, and she gave up her job as a pharmacist before she went out there and then the plan was always to give her the opportunity to come and work in the business. Um, so today is a real, real milestone for the business because I have my youngest who works for us already and has done since August. Now it's the turn of my eldest. So Shannon from today uh, will be working with us in a capacity of marketing and communications. Um, so I'm extremely proud to say the least that I've been able to um, well create a business that's given my two kids opportunities um, to work um, and hopefully it'll grow into something better um, and more permanent to be honest but yeah significant milestone when people talk about oh you know I've made it this that the other this is probably somewhere close for me obviously I've got a lot more goals that I want to achieve but this is really significant um, and Shannon's absolute dream of a daughter she always has been really mature um and uh, yes yeah, so we're going to go meet her now at piccadilly and literally we're going to lay out a job role tell her what's required expect her to be uh, an expert straight away because that's what i expect of everybody um and uh, yeah but it'll be good i'm, I'm excited for it There's, it's a long job ahead but um it's a big job and yeah i couldn't i couldn't be happier to be honest Be scrubbing that man's face off the fucking wall. Um, I don't know what the fuck happened there. I'm not into football, but I know he's fucking left my new. Shannon, Shannon, Chris. Chris is all about me. I feel like I'm cheating on. I feel like I'm cheating on Five Guys. I don't usually eat at Archie's because it's like a one up from McDonald's. But it's nowhere near Five Guys. But we're hungry. So we're back at the uh, HQ and welcome Shannon, welcome to the business. So it's quite a proud moment for me, um, as I mentioned in the car on the way, um, Shannon coming and working in the business and uh, my youngest also working in the business. We are truly a family run business now. So Shannon will be um, in charge, she doesn't know all of it yet but I'm going to be running through that with her this afternoon. Um, mainly responsible for all of the content that's going to be going out on social media and via uh, email marketing. So communications is massive for us because we've got so much going on. Um, it's important that we tell people what's going on in the business at all times, uh, especially with them in the member's site. So to free up my time to be more of a sales wanker than I already am, 
Shannon's going to be doing lots of stuff from the laptop. Um, like I said, mainly marketing and communications. Um, and you're going to spend some time learning our yeah. systems over the next few weeks. So, yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing that you're working for us. Um, and I'm hoping, potentially, it might lead into something more full-time. But you're a bit of a traveller, aren't you? So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, the full time thing, not the, not the traveling. No, I know, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think um, it's always going to be a means to an end. That Shannon's got some uh, passion for traveling after just coming back from America and Costa Rica, and you kind of like it, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, where's next on your agenda for flying to, do you think? Uh, probably Australia. Australia, yeah. Australia. Well, when you're over there, give me a shout. I'll pop over. <laughs> no fucking problem. Um, we'll go and see the family on Kangaroo Island. Um, are you coming too, are you, Chris? <laughs> oh, okay, all right then. Yeah, we'll all go. I, I'm happy with that. Um, we'll get Sophie to cover the shop and everything else, and we can just work from our laptops in Australia. Do you know what? That's a good idea. But that's the beauty of your job, is that you can do that. So if you do decide to fuck off, you can take your MacBook with you and you can just log on for us now and again. Um, so yeah, so today we'll be just going through lots of stuff with Shannon. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll give me some free time in the new year to do what we need to do with the member site. I think one of the main reasons we like to do a bit of the behind the scenes and a day in the life of is so you can get to see more than just a snippet from Instagram of what we actually do. Um, it's quite an intense thing running any business, but a supplement business that's not just a supplement business and all the moving parts with it. We just wanted to show you a bit what goes on and what we do. Tell you a little bit of a story behind the company as well and, and, and what our plans are. So I'll not go into all of that, but the key things are is to build our membership site and to build the education platform that we have and again just to give you more of an insight as to what we do and the people in our business um yeah but i've really enjoyed doing it chris on the camera as always um gonna edit out all of the shit that i talk <laughs> i think we'll put this out in its rawest of forms i think will this go on youtube or something yeah we'll do a youtube episode of it we'll produce loads of reels and all of the usual stuff, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, do the subscription thing. Uh, follow us on Instagram, all of those things.